There are a number of questions that you can ask in every defense expert deposition that don't have anything specifically to do with the facts of your case that may yield pretty good cross-examination. And in this first part, I want to talk about the first five things that you can do to take a killer expert deposition. One, always ask, are all of the materials that you've reviewed and relied on here in the room with us? They will say yes, but many times that doesn't include emails, it doesn't include printouts of websites that they looked at, and most importantly, it doesn't include the text that they've sent back and forth with defense counsel. Have them pull out their phone and get it. Number two, how much money do you make from forensic medical legal work? You are entitled under Allen and Stony Brook to get that information, especially from busy defense experts. Number three, what percentage of your work is plaintiff versus defense? Not only in deposition and in trial. Ask if they have a federal rule 26 list that is required if they give federal testimony on what depositions and trials they have done. Number four, what insurance companies and in-house counsel have you worked for in the past? Get a complete list. Get a list of all of the insurance companies they've done free speeches to, that they've done things that where they don't charge but get cost reimbursement, and then get them to commit that the reason they did that is to recruit cases from those defense. And then lastly, ask if they socialize with the defense lawyer or the defense firm, if they've been to dinner, if they know their kids. Try to create that familial relationship that means they're not an independent expert.